Hello, and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm, I'm Boku Bell. <laughs> I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm special guest T. Stymac, and we're playing Dark Souls some more. Uh, S'mores. and Mysterious Gamer X is at the controls. Yeah, I'm just pillaging things, talking to people, trying not to start any fights. Wow. That's a good idea, because you can aggro everyone in this game. Oh, okay. Well! So do people do all kill runs, where they kill everybody in the game? Yeah, you can do that. I'm sure someone must. I mean, it's a, it is actually a pretty common thing to do uh, on your second or third playthrough. I knew somebody who did an all kill run through of Morrowind. Uh, every person that was killable in the entire game, they did. That sounds exhausting. And they left themselves with sort of a lonely nightmare world of corpses. Yeah, and you can't finish the critical path if you kill everybody. Right. Um, so I don't know why he did that to himself, but it Haunts me. Was, somebody was doing that on Fallout 3, and, and it was interesting to watch how the game breaks, because, like, the game knows that you killed someone that has a bounty on their head, and so, like, he'd get money from random people for things he didn't know he was going to do. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, like, bandit groups who know that you killed their friends, they just, they all know. <laughs> we're, we're skipping a lot of story, and we're also skipping my favorite thing about Dark Souls, and that is the fact that, in this world, laughter is a punctuation. Because everybody is a little bit crazy. Oh, okay. Well, these are the people that escaped the asylum. These, okay. are, these are not whole people. They're just more whole than the husks we left. You want to summarize what uh, the guy without the helmet said? Man, I don't remember. Okay, well then it's not your favorite part of the game now, is it? Uh, well, the last is the favorite part. Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically what he said is that he's a big sad boy who is very sad. Oh. That but... he is going to never die and is trapped in this nightmare world. And you're trapped in the Nightmare World too, and it would have been more fitting for you to stay behind and become a husk. But since you're here, you know, here's he, where you can go. He also provided us with two very important things that, uh, he, he gave us objectives. Okay. So, the, Yeah. <laughs> One of the oh, rarest hey, resources where, in this game must going? be I have no idea. I just sort of looked up and realized that we're on a magical adventure ride. So this game has a lot in common, uh, with... Metroidvania games, in that it's got a huge open world that connects in really interesting ways. And uh, if it's Metroidvania, I assume that means lots of doubling back? Yeah! Doubling back, shortcuts, um, blundering into areas that are too high level for you and just getting your shit wrecked. Uh, I do seem to remember that. I've heard bad things about swamps. Uh, Blight Town is, for my money, the second worst area in the game. Okay, and first, first? Worst being... uh, Sense Fortress. That's my opinion. Okay. Um, probably a close third would be the. What's up, buddy? Well, it doesn't have a talk button. I think it's XP. <laughs> so that seems to be how this world works. <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, isn't it? Well, what kind of person are you? Are you someone who sees? I don't know. I knew what my out? I knew what my beloved child was. I don't know what this nightmare monster that she was switched with is. So we are two episodes in, and you're still mad that the game took away your five I'm, minute creation. I am going to remember remember two things about this game. Hundred hours, ninety nine of them. That's a good point. That's I good point. I will remember two things about this game: the roll button and my anger. And that is going to be that is going to be the sum total. Well, that is what will fuel our character through its dark, I don't know, so path. Let, we should build a mythology around. Lucky. We should build a mythology for so Lucky. Lucky, Lucky was once a beautiful, uh, a beautiful. You don't child, know you started. A beautiful child. Yeah. I, I think I do, and I'm glad that I did it. So Lucky was once the beautiful child of a benevolent force. Uh, I was the benevolent force. And uh, whatever corruptive force in this game exists swapped her with some kind of um, look-alike gremlin that was not quite close enough to fool that benevolent force. And so now that benevolent force has withdrawn its light from this world, leaving the corruption in place. And so Lucky, being the being the avatar of the corruptive force must now make a choice to pursue that or to try and be the person she was supposed to be which was my beautiful child so <laughs> well, I think this we game gotta does have multiple endings so right so we gotta leave it in Lucky's hands is she gonna be hey, is she gonna be sword. the good Neat. that she was yes. destined to be 
and make up for that which the life that she stole? Or is she going to just lean into being the douche nozzle? So, uh, I'm going to interrupt... This, this rich lore? This rich lore. Uh-huh. If you click X, uh, what you can see now is all of the different things, and it'll also tell you how it changes. Okay, so the the, the axe is better than the stick. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, the axe has better damage, but it really depends on how you feel using the axe. Fighting styles, right? Yeah. Uh, also, the axe scales, uh, if you look at parameter bonus, the axe scales mostly with uh, strength and a little bit with dexterity, but the sword scales mostly with uh, dexterity and a little bit with strength. And since you raised our dexterity last time, uh... Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> uh, that's Why choose? It's an unconventional <laughs> okay. Florentine, but okay, so let's I'm go for it. To, there's a demon in a pot, I just want to point out. Um, this is a game where you cannot swim. Okay. okay, that's good to know. Heads up. Yeah. Death water. Is okay, the sitting, got it. sitting guy? Oh, there you go. Y- yeah, so I'm... I feel like I'm only... Oh, you gotta use the other button. Yeah. Transient curse. Mm. <laughs> and that's a consumable, and if you want to learn what it does, you can go to the menu. Or I could tell you, but instead we're gonna go to the menu. Yeah, <laughs> let's see here. Temporary I curse love, allows I engagement love... with ghosts. <laughs> Oh, is so, that the multiplayer? We can marry actually, ghosts? Actually, no. <laughs> we can marry a ghost. Let's marry this monster child to a ghost. I mean, they're both undead. I, I don't see why anyone would object okay, to that. Okay, now even. hold on. Marriage only works till death do you part. Were we married? Oh, Have we, we lost... Go. No, she, that's, she that's can't how be... you, That's how you become engaged. You find the person right. that you were meant to be with. How right. Do you, how do you deselect an item? I don't want to use this on accident. Uh, if you click the right button... It will take you to... Uh, right button. The shoulder button, sorry. Uh, it will take you to... Uh-huh. Now, yeah. she couldn't have been married before the undeath, because her point of creation was undeath. So, Lucky, the original Lucky's real spouse mm. is somewhere out there. We just have this shapeshifter monster Lucky. Who has no experience of... Of the art of love. So are you unequipping those items from your... Yes, I don't want to use them on accident. Oh. Um, what do you mean you? You mean I will use them on accident. If you look at the bottom, you'll see that our Estus Flask is currently equipped. Uh, uh, if you push ten. down on the D-pad, you'll you can cycle it? through those equipped. Oh, okay. Oh. And we don't want to accidentally cycle through one of the... Yeah. The weird bits. This is a very... Very unconventional uh... build. Yeah, I really I like where this is going though. This is interesting to me. Now remember, water uh, is the real yeah, enemy of this game. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm noticing that's a real rickety bridge with no guardrails or anything. And you can't you can fight the water, but it takes a lot of like calculating time and <laughs> dodging. You know, I'm a walk on bridge. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll say, like Sonic. This seems like a perfect oh, spot you, for you them to be want, just archers galore. You might want to change your equipped uh, consumable, because right now it is Soul of the Nameless Soldier. Oh, uh, yeah. Which, if we use later, will probably give us enough experience points for another level. That's cool. Yeah. Why are we doing so it's a consumable the cool guys don't look at explosions walk? Because if I move any faster, this controller pulls to the uh, right. Oh, really? that's good. Is that a ghost? I mean, it looks Ouch. like a ghost. No bad. Wait, no, wasn't I there think a thing I remember that? that from Fatal Frame. Ask it out. Engage it. Kiss the ghost. Kiss attack. So if you want to cast the spell, you've got to use strong attack. Uh, Kiss that ghost right or on That was strong face. attack. Oh, I'm sorry. Or lack thereof. I got it backwards. <laughs> right, good job, guy. <laughs> Gonna set the bridge on fire. Kiss that spooky duke on its mouth. Or teeth. But it doesn't have a face. I was gonna say, I'm not sure what was going on there. It's a big shroud. Kiss it on the mouth bucket. Just whatever's... Can I move across here? It's water. Yes, but it's... It you're, not gonna, shallow, you're not gonna drown. Maybe. We're, we're going with GTA rules. 
Oh, deep water? <laughs> yeah. As opposed to... Because nothing stops crime like water. So... <laughs> is this thing dying? Doesn't look like it. No. Okay. But remember, we got that thing. That the item can... that lets us We do have them. that thing, yes. I'm just wondering if it's Mary worth it or ghosts. if we just turn around. Poltergeist polygamy. Are, are, yeah, the question is, are we in one of those areas we're not supposed to be? <laughs> now, I'll also tell you that the uh, the curse here, transient curse, those ghosts drop them. Oh, so. wow. I like, its, I like its sort of mood. It has very Mr. Burns... Excellent kind of evil finger graspy going mm. on. Ah, uh, you need to. All right. X button to use. Why does this take forever? <laughs> oh, ooh. They do a, a Why does this take forever? Yeah, these guys are rough. It's because you're supposed to kiss them. <laughs> but that takes four different buttons done in sequence, so you know. <laughs> You know, if there were like romance a, like options in game Dark combo. Souls... Everything on the internet has led me to believe there is a romance option or nine in Dark Souls. People seem very infatuated with, a uh, Lady... Maria? Maybe. Mm. Maybe? I, that's a different... That's the next one, though, right? There there are a couple of different, I guess you could term, uh... Like, romance options. I wouldn't take any of them. <laughs> but... Yeah, this is a really good place for starting a life with somebody so much as it is. The literal opposite of that? The, whatever <laughs> whatever the opposite of, like, an optimistic marriage is. Oh, God, there's a good wasp joke in that, but I'm just not... <laughs> <laughs> if my wife was here, she could probably deliver it. She's pretty waspy. Is she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, that's why we get along so well. We probably both speak Lutheran. <laughs> she, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> She actually thinks that you don't like her at all. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We have it recorded now. Tell her that I, <laughs> I don't dislike her at all. If it makes you feel any better, uh, like, there, there are several of my friends that she does not like at all. It's oh, not I... that she dislikes you. Oh, okay. It's that she thinks that you dislike no, her. No, I was just really mad at somebody the only time that we've met. Ah. So how but... long does the transient curse last? <laughs> Until it stops. I've never really been able to figure that one out myself. Ah, okay. Good to know. Oh, God. I, I will say that I'm noticing that uh, having a ranged magic attack is, is really the only it way does to, seem to help. make these guys oh, manageable. Oh, this is a problem. Mm. Yeah, Ow. you might have spells. Ow! Ooh. What is the range on these guys? That's brutal. They do have really noodly arms. They're very slender. Well, this, knows this... no limit. Oh boy. Uh, the way you'll be boxes able, know no bounds. The way you'll be able to tell when it's done is you got them little shimmers on you. Yeah. Oh, stop okay. shimmering. So. Wait, so, okay, if your shield stops ghosts. Because of the curse. Because of the curse. Interact. Okay. So, oh, I guess God. that means both block and attack, which is good, because I was a little worried about that too. Okay, so they're not so much. It really is more of a kissing pit than a mouth. <laughs> it's a kissing pit. It's like a, it's like those Harry Potter ghost things that suck out all of your happy thoughts. The Dementors. The Dementors. There we go. Yeah. You said that with such smugness that I just got. I just learned a whole bunch more about you. <laughs> I am actually right now re-listening to because I don't know how to read. Uh, the Harry Potter book. You don't know how to read, and yet you give me so much crap about every little scratch on the ground in this game. <laughs> yeah. For shame. Woo. <laughs> okay, but now you're, hey, you're yeah. listening to... Got through to... that one on the skin of my... Still a lot. Good job. Do you have a health... <laughs> you have A. You probably have A health point. <laughs> one single hit point. Good job. That's all you need. <laughs> so you're, you're re-listening re to Harry Pongle. Yeah, I'm on a... Uh, I'm actually just finished... Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, the oh. book where they are introduced. Yeah, that was my that was kind of the, the high point the Griffin, of the series right? for me. I never I didn't enjoy any of the subsequent ones quite as much as I loved that one. Do you know what that tells me about you? What? That you prefer middle grade books to young adult books. Maybe. Yeah. I I don't know. Probably. That'd be my guess. 
Um, I'll tell you this. God, I'm what? really not interested in sweaty ah. youth angst. Yeah, and that is and a lot I of also rest. like I also like well written closure, not necessarily happy endings. And I feel like you, you I not... feel like there were some loose ends, but Well I was I, definitely I... the end of the story for no, those characters. Let me tell you what. That was the last book that had an ending to me. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Uh, that... and then oh. and then I didn't yeah. I would argue that that one was very, uh, very open-ended, though. It it was very, the story continues. I'll admit that it wasn't uh, as, next time on Harry Potter. Right, well, no, that's what I'm saying. I think, I think installation should be able to kind of stand on its own feet. It doesn't mean it has to close all its doors, but it has to, it has to have a balanced arc, and that's, that's just how I feel. Although... This is somewhat of a weird debate to have while while Princess Mouthpit just just hurts hurts us so bad in this game. So my favorite thing that you learn in this little section is that ghosts can punch you through walls. Yeah, no, that was bad. <laughs> they can punch you through walls. God and, damn it! And they can hang out inside of them so you can't punch them. That's right. Which is awful. You know, how many of them are there? I mean, enough. Always one more. <laughs> I was gonna for say. every falling star, for every child's wish. Well, keep in mind. That... Uh, are you still glowy? I am not. I just noticed. Good it. I was like, you don't look like you're being teleported away. Drink the hobo's <laughs> curse. Drink you, you... the hobo's curse. I was gonna say you basically look like uh, you're about to get teleported away in Star Trek. Like that's what the shimmer. You know, like. I think I'm just yeah. gonna just gonna call it quits on this area for now. That's fair. That's so, we need a stronger that's something. A, that's a rough slog. I mean, you were you were doing well with magic. What we but need is some is some some tinted weaponry. chapstick to really get through here. <laughs> we're just not set up. We need a little bit of mascara, a little bit of tinted chapstick, and we'll What's be able that? to seduce. How do we get over there? Uh, careful of the deep waters. You're, you're not Hiring letting go water. of the opportunity to kiss all the ghosts, are you? I want to make out with some poltergeists. <laughs> I want to, I want to, sp- oh, hey, there's a I path. remember this from Kingsfield. <laughs> I want a kissaroo, a kissaroo from me Oh, yes, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' knew it. I'm going to tell you something, in all my hours of playing Dark Souls, I didn't know that was there. How do I get out of Death here? Death comes for uh, you. <laughs> Carefully very... would be my answer. Jeez. Oh. Man, there's three of them pop out of that. You if I had mag- if I had magic, I could take them. What yeah. you need is some root uh. beer lip smackers. <laughs> As you jog slowly away from the peril. <laughs> <laughs> well, fortunately, oh. they're slower than I am. I was gonna say everything seems to be, uh, you know, a slow grinding pace. Now, that seems to be the hallmark of the game. <laughs> now, Mr. T, uh, my question is: Did you ever play Haunting Grounds? I have played an embarrassingly low number of video games. Okay, so Haunting Grounds came out around the same time as, I want to say, um, Silent Hill 4 and uh, okay, uh, Fatal then, Frame 2 and stuff. Then I definitely didn't play it because I, uh, I did not play really any video games from 2000 and... Two okay. to 2007. So it was a horror game sort of set in a soft Victorian period where you're a girl in a real short skirt. It's a Japanese game. Ah. Uh, and you, um, the more scared you get, the more that you kind of like pant moan and like run around oh, clutching no. your chest and you run slower and slower and then the big scary man behind you catches you. Um, and I think there's a dog. And well, it's, we're <laughs> off to the races, aren't and, we? And jogging away, jogging away slowly from terror will never not remind me of that particular <laughs> game because just the very specific noises she made while clutching herself and so slowly jogging away from scary things. I mean it kind of was Maybe it kind of was the singularity. Them? It's never going to be as good as that. I never beat it. Um I think I had to return it to Hastings. <laughs> and oh, those were the days, I yeah. tell you what. Oh god. God rest Hastings' soul. <laughs> the souls of the people it harvested. 
I don't think I know anyone who worked at Hastings who enjoyed working at Hastings. No! It's like some sort of dark rite of passage. Uh, come at me, Hastings Inc., <laughs> for slandering your company's paper practices. I don't think practices. they can anymore. They're gone. I that's what I was, yeah, was going to say. Now they're the ghosts. They, they, can't, even, they can't even redeem all of their gift cards. <laughs> uh, that's right. So, you don't need to have uh, multiple weapons really equipped just because... I do. Fair Hello. enough. <laughs> Now, are we... So, Lucky. So, so far, what do we know about Lucky? Lucky's afraid of commitment. Jack of all trades. Lucky's met a lot of hot ghosts and just... <laughs> Look, do you want me to go down there and fireball those ghosts some more? You can't push him away. You have to let him in sometimes. I uh, am going to just come out and say that that is not the next place on the critical path <laughs> to yeah. complete this game. No, that, and that's that fine. Was... Everybody Ooh. finds love at different times in their life. And maybe Lucky is just sort of at a wrong... Right person's wrong time. So here is another cool piece of background storytelling. There is an open chest in the corner here that we've never seen before. And that, like, implies... Is it someone took our stuff. <laughs> that is exactly what that implies. Kiss the mimic. Sorry, no. You, you, had, a, you had a salient point. Kiss I was just going to say mouth. that other people have come through here before us I, I do like that and interacted and lived with the world. Okay. I do like that it doesn't feel like a set piece that was waiting for us to discover. I'm gonna accuse you here of maybe grasping at straws for rich lore because I don't know if open chest necessarily indicates a deeper story. It well, no. Just, it doesn't it's, indicate... It's just, it's just a messy, lived-in world rather than a pristine one that's... A pristine one full of jars of rupees. Waiting, yeah, yeah, waiting for the waiting for the hero of time or whatever to you know come and liberate it. You know, my favorite game that works off that premise mm. is Dragon Quest Builders. It's just literally everybody is a sweaty, sad, like lost person <laughs> with no ability to so much as make a stack hey, into a shirt. Does or... falling damage exist? Yes. Yes. Oh. Very much so. That's good. <laughs> Anyway, I continue. Oh, uh, so Dragon Quest Builders, the whole premise is that you're the only person who can build. You're the only human you're who has builder. tool mastery like, anymore. Yeah. That is... You can move blocks. It is a fantastic game. It, it'd, be, it'd be like if you were the only person who could Minecraft in Minecraft. It really Everyone is Everyone else good in Minecraft game. is just waiting to be eaten by creepers. I cannot believe it had my favorite uh, my favorite lady protagonist, um, or uh, lady character of 2016, but it literally did. Her name is Barbarella. And she is the muscle queen of the desert. Well, that makes sense, given, like, just other Barbarella properties. Or, no, Barbella? Barbella. 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 Because oh. she's strong. She was, a, no. she was in charge she, of a bunch of muscle dudes. She so curls that Barbella. iron. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's in charge of a, a sweet group of, of uh, all strong her boyfriends. Boys? Strong boy boyfriends. All of them are her, her joint boyfriend. And then when you jump in the mix... All they ask is if there's still room in your heart for them to. Of course. <laughs> oh god, good game. Anyway, <laughs> is there a way to attack with both of these at once, or is that only for similar weapons? Uh, you cannot attack with both. Not of them until at once. you unlock the Dritt Steward and um, feats. <laughs> and uh, I was gonna say there's probably a mod somewhere. The I'm... downside is you have to get really moody. Too. Oh, oh. Oh, I love those. I, I don't. I'm going to come out and say that I do not like Salvatore. Uh, <gasps> hard opposed what to Salvatore. What do you mean? Um, How, I'm kind of being a little facetious. I loved it as a teenager. I don't know if I would love it now if I oh, encountered oh, it. There's Dang. a lot of them. So many. Okay. All right. So what's this purple bar mean? Is that, that a sprint the, bar? Uh, that is bleeding. I was going to say, it's some kind of sad oh. oh, it's not good, though. And when it fills... All the way up. Oh, I have gone the wrong way. <laughs> you take a huge chunk of damage. Yeah, those aren't for kissing. I just want to point out. There's a real big difference well, they, between... They got no lips. A skelly gel and um, a kissaboo. Man. Uh, skelly gels... There's a lot of them. Yeah, no, this is... Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Well, I never got the impression this was a game where you're supposed to fight hordes. Am I, am I off on that? You can. But it's not a good time. I mean, it can be. No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Matt, no! Not the bird! <laughs> Why was that targetable? Oh, wait, well, you it's Dark Souls, it. you can kill everything. Oh, God. Oh, oh. All right. You went out in a literal blaze of glory. I don't think anyone can be disappointed in you there. Oh, no, my you God! Can. 
Under <laughs> under your guidance, we gained three or four you levels. You did so good. You did we great. We got a new sword. Like, and we you took did on the really well. God. And you betrayed your only friend in this world. Look, I friend. was trying to lock on to the skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a hurry to throw that fireball. So, uh, oh boy! I, okay. What I enjoy the most is that the uh, that that maneuver took so long that you had time to think about what you've done. <laughs> it really did let us know. <laughs> well, next time on Endless Mode, Captain Emoji's gonna get a turn. Oh sweet! Oh Jesus. goodness! <laughs> we might make it out of right there if we're if we we're might feeling attack the bird again. Now, my real question before we go to the next episode, and feel free to supply your own answers to this question in the comments, mm -hmm. is are we going to progress down the critical path before I get a turn? Mop, mop, mop. I mean, the only thing standing between that is me. <laughs> well, so he has gonna... to go get our souls back. You know, I yeah. actually have the Benny Our Benny souls Hill. are in a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he cannot get them back, something has gone terribly awry. You were the you one who invited us to play, my guy. <laughs> um, what did you think would happen? Uh, literally this. They're, they're, in a, they're in a safe place, like when you buy Christmas presents in July. <laughs> Do I know where they are now? That's the key. Well, oh, I guess we'll find Christ. out next time on Endless Mode. Next time on Endless Mode. Thanks, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. There we go. <laughs>